the Honourable Gentleman would, would know, the attitude would be that amendments should be submitted before the rise of the House. There is, however, a degree of unpredictability as to how long this session will run today, the sittings of the House motion, and therefore I'm open to the possibility of manuscript amendments. And forgive me, my response to the Honourable Gentleman, the Member for Strangford, was perhaps not entirely self-contained. He was quizzical about the matter of amendments, and I said that the business of the House motion governing the proceedings tomorrow was a relatively standard business of the House motion, but it might be worthwhile me opening that envelope and explaining what that means. Because there is a business of the House motion, at the moment of interruption, or rather after the moment of interruption, the questions will be able to be put, and that means such amendments as have been selected, if there is more than one, will be able to be voted upon by the House. So there is no danger of us running out of time for deciding upon amendments. I have at this stage no way of knowing whether I will select one amendment or multiple amendments. But the Honourable Gentleman need not be concerned on that front. And point of order,